Hey, Nick, what's your 20? Uh, just working hard up here in the back office. Gotcha. Hey, I uh, just want you to have a great shift today, okay? Oh, you're starting to worry us what's going on. <laughs> Good luck keeping up with him today. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I do remember when Nick came the first day and, and he interviewed, and um, he was just such a a charming guy. I mean, immediately you wanted to you wanted to show him around and introduce him to some folks. So the tour began, met Bill, and he kind of walked me through the grounds, and I'm looking around at all this beautiful landscaping, thinking, how am I going to keep up with all of this? And then as we're walking up the hill, I'm kind of asking him, so how many days are you mowing, and how many days are you trimming, and how many days are you pulling weeds? And I don't even know if he told me details. He's just like, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you can do this, you know, you know how Bill is. So we did go up to East Campus and uh, introduce him to those people that we've known up, that I'd known up there for nine or ten years by the time Nick got here. All we had to do is walk down that hallway and you see every resident, hey Bill, hey Bill, and knew them all by name and and knew something about each one of them and we could barely make it two feet down the hallway without another person coming up to him. I, then I, I forgot about grass. I'm like, okay, I can mow the grass for a while, but how do I get in there? How do I get in here? Hey. hey, guy. Fancy oh. seeing you here. Hi, good. Can we hang up my job break? When he was first mowing, this for his first season of mowing, when fall and winter came and, and he got off the mower and assumed a natural position up at East Campus, and he just loved it. I mean, he just loved the interaction with our residents and staff that he, that he didn't get on a mower. I mean, I took pride in the grounds and, and worked my ass off trying to make it that first impression. But when I went inside in the winters, there was just something about that that I knew I wanted to be inside helping people. <laughs> no, he you don't want to ever go back on a mower. <laughs> he's a, he's a man. He's a man of the people. He, yeah. he, he, I think the mowing and, and doing that is too, too isolated for Nick. He likes to be around the action and what's going on and resident staff uh, just likes to be in the in the mix of it we'll get you hooked up because i'm telling have you i've ever let you down before no except for that one time uh, well, but we don't talk about that time yeah well you know <laughs> you goof nut <laughs> you goof nut later mr horrible see you buddy <laughs> i always try to make someone laugh whether whether it's by them laughing at me for messing something up or me telling them a joke or just or just that camaraderie um, I don't know I just get some feeling inside of happiness when I can fix something for someone or when I can make someone laugh yes he is connected to the mission but his style just makes it so easy for him to to succeed he just immediate, immediately disarms you and puts you at ease he he asks all the right questions. He's he's just so friendly that that there's no there's no walls there that that have to come down before you get to know him. So some of that has nothing to do with maintenance. You see someone sometimes you turn into a counselor and you're you know by the end of it you're you're getting a hug and you have that deep conversation and they know they can come to you for stuff like that. You're not just the guy who who twists in the light bulb, but you're willing to sit down and take that time to to get them through whatever they're going through that day. I think he wants to be connected with the, the clinical program, if, if not directly, at least often. I mean, some of these guys that I've worked with and they go back home and to know or hope that I was a part of that, I mean, that's, that's why I'm here. Like, I hope, hope I had a part of that. Everything. Right? You gonna hold it and I'll... Oh, oh yeah. Nick would like to talk about what what these numbers mean. So yeah, so this just came off out of the ideal team player. Um, I did print out, <laughs> without making you guys read the whole book, I took four pages out of it. <laughs> but I think all everyone can get to be threes in every one of these categories if we work at it and make it a priority. I want to be like Bill is a leader who leads from the front. If I'm asking anyone to do anything, I would have 
already done it myself. You're willing to do any job. You're down there in the ditch with them. Just know that I have, have everyone's back. If everybody on the team was to meet a new person, if they lined us all up, Nick would know more about his person in five minutes than all of us would, I think, put together. Yeah, I think out of anybody on, on our team, if you were to ask anybody, hey, who, who do you want to spend the day working at the apartments or, or doing this with, Nick, Nick's name would probably be the first name that almost every member on that team would, yeah. would say, yep, I want to work with Nick today. I'm just struck by how, how he's grown. Um, I've, been, I've been here 28 years, and Nick's teaching me. So I know Nick because I've gotten the pleasure to work with him through our leadership and skill development group. If you think of any other maintenance team at any other organization, the maintenance team is there to fix things and be an order taker. And I think Nick has redefined what that role looks like. I mean, I see so much potential in every member that we have. And I mean, as a team, myself included, we can all get better. And through through these classes, I've got some skills and I want to pass along and I just want to push everyone to be the best that they can be he has the vision for himself to be more than just a maintenance guy but he also wants his team to be more than just a maintenance team with his approach to relationship building his his willingness to learn and be curious and his hardworking and determined approach he's going to achieve a lot Seriously, unlimited growth potential. I mean, in this company, he could he could go anywhere he wants. Hey, Nick, I just wanted to give you a little shout out. I believe that the uh, sky's the limit with you, and I've always said that you've had just the ability to lead right off the bat, just by what you've done with everything you've been handed. You just take it to the next level, and I couldn't be more proud to be a teammate of yours, and I look forward to the years to come. A shout out to you, Nick. You're a great team leader. You're having this team headed in the right direction. So glad I'm on your team, Nick. Bob to Nick. Hey, I just wanted you to know how proud I was of you for winning this O'Donnell Award. You totally put your heart in everything you do every day, and that is what we love about you around here. I just can't say enough good things about you, buddy. Hope you have a great night.